Peter, look out for those orange, bright orange bits on the wings, hey, Peter McNamara. Is that what we're looking for? Yes, indeed. Now, uh, unlike uh, many participants who arrive at high speed, this is Tony De Bruyne in the OV10 Bronco, arriving at low speed, flying at just around 100 miles an hour. Because this aircraft was designed in the 1960s by North American Rockwell, and its objective mainly was as a forward air controller, light observation and light ground attack aircraft, in which roles it was used extensively in the Vietnam War of the 1960s. So Tony is uh, trailing smoke there so that we can track him and he's going to go into a spiral climb now. So imagine he's flying over the jungles of Vietnam at low speed looking for potential targets of opportunity and uh, once he spots those he'll be in liaison with the ground troops. Now those of you looking with binoculars may say Vietnam War aircraft with black German crosses on it. Well, why is that? Well, this is actually a, a former German Air Force aircraft. German Air Force took some of these on board to use as uh, target tugs. So they would be towing targets for the German Air Force fighters to, uh, to shoot at. Not a job I would particularly fancy myself, but there we go. So you can see the bright day glow wingtips that uh, Ian was mentioning earlier. Uh, that's to help ensure that the fighters who are in there to intercept the targets shoot at the target rather than the, uh, the towing aircraft, the Bronco. But Tony De Bruyne showing there just how manoeuvrable this aircraft is. He's coming in now at a faster speed. That's over 200 miles an hour, probably close to 250 miles an hour. And that's not a bomb underneath the fuselage, it is the, uh, the extra fuel tank. And there we are, look, highly manoeuvrable, a great roll as he goes up on the 45 degree line. And with a very short fuselage and that uh, boom, twin boom tail that we'll also see on the Vampire Jets later on as the penultimate display item from the Royal Norwegian Historical Squadron. And the twin boom is, is, is sort of connected. I'm trying to think how to describe this if you're listening at home. It's, uh, it's got like two bits sticking out of the back of the plane which are connected by a bar across. So it looks like a, it forms a square. Yes, that's right. Now turn in from the left with his undercarriage down in the landing configuration. This is when he's flying nice and slowly. So do give him a wave. He'll be looking out of the cockpit. If he sees enough people waving, he may even wave back. The wheels look good down, don't they? Yes, indeed, yes. <laughs> it's almost like he's in slow motion. He's flying past us now on the commentary point. Give him a wave, lots of waving, smiling faces from the beach as he flies from left to right, heading up towards the Jaywick end of the seafront. So there in the landing configuration, also known as the dirty configuration, that's uh, undercarriage and flaps down, ready for landing. Now he's cleaned up the aircraft, undercarriage and flaps retracted. Now he's going to execute a very slow speed 360 degree turn, again simulating looking for ground targets so that he can report back to the troops in close proximity on the ground. Tony it was who established the OV-10 Bronco demonstration team, wanting to keep this uh, classic aircraft 